Now ever since Tarkov has been around, the cycle is pretty much always the same. We have a wipe, then the player numbers go down drastically, then sometimes towards the end, when the player count really reaches critical level, we get another wipe and the people come back. Now with the current state of the game, if there was no wipe, sooner or later the game would be dead. But why? Why does a wipe bring back so many players and why do people love that early wipe feeling in Tarkov that much? I've asked many people and listened to a lot of opinions and they almost all say the same thing. For example, Shroud just thinks that the early fights are more interesting, more intense when there are no meta guns. Pestily says something similar. He thinks at the beginning the fights are more interesting because the fights are still fights and not just a max brain the fight is over. One, two bullets, fight over. That's late game. And I agree with the opinion. I think early fights are more interesting, more intense and more exciting. That may be the most important thing is that they are unique. Because in early wipe, everyone runs around with whatever they have. We have so many different loadouts in Tarkov. Weapons, systems, tools that you can use. And at the beginning of a wipe, they are all over the place. You meet so many different loadouts in raid. And depending on the weapon you choose, you really have to play differently. You have to think on how you can engage. For example, for Mosin, you can't just go head on. You have to move and play accordingly to your weapon. And all of this makes it very, very unique. There is no other game that gives me the same feeling. But at some point in the wipe, and nowadays it takes like a couple of weeks, a lot of people are just running around with the same crap again and again. It's the same with all gear. At the beginning of the wipe you see everything represented and at some point it's just always the same loadout. Everyone wears the same thing and at the end of the wipe the fights look more like this. It's just a short spray with zero recoil guns and the fight is over. And in itself there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it destroys one of the biggest pillars of Tarkov. And that is its uniqueness. Because when all the fights start to look like this towards the end of a wipe or mid wipe by now, it's not much different from shooters like Rainbow Six Siege, Apex Legends or even Call of Duty. It's no longer different from Call of Duty or even Battlefield. Where no, sadly, those games are even more demanding when it comes to controlling the recall than when you use a meta gun in Tarkov. So that means that Tarkov loses its uniqueness and thus moves more and more into the just generic shooter market. And there there is an incredible amount of competition and in the end the game fades away in that market because you have to think about at that point why play Tarkov? Let's imagine you are a salesman and you want me to buy the game in late wipe. What would you argue? What does Tarkov have that another shooter doesn't at that point? Weapon modding? Completely off the table because everyone plays the same three builds anyway. The MMO element? Yeah, who loots anymore at that point? So once the uniqueness starts to fade, it becomes more and more of a regular shooter. And with that, some problems come more into focus compared to other shooters. For example, we have massive sound problems that we've known for a long time. We have desync issues. We have lags, we have stutters. You have to rebuild your whole loadout after each raid and this takes time. Imagine another shooter where you have to spend 15 minutes in the loading screen before you can play another game. Then we have all the cheaters and depending on what playstyle you choose, you get upset with campers too. <laughs> so the whole beauty and uniqueness of Tarkov gets completely lost once you reach that state or point in time in a wipe. Another problem is the power dynamics in the game, because while one person is trying to get their bronze watch and is limited to whatever they can play, the other person is already bored and just go customs for PvP and farms exactly those people who just want to do missions, who then again just absolutely don't want to play anymore, understandably so. Now in MMOs there will always be a power gap. Whoever plays more often is higher in level, has access to better things, so that's completely normal. But I think the gap in Tarkov is too big. The difference can be huge. I mean, let's say one player has to hit three bullets and the other has to hit eight. So th that's insane. You could be twice as good as a player and still lose. And at that point, a lot of people 
who don't have time to play Tarkov every other day, just think to themselves, well, I'll just play something that's balanced and fun then. And the last point I want to talk about is the availability of meta gear. The problem I see is not necessarily that the flea market exists, but the way they implemented the ruble. Because you can do whatever you want. You can do scav runs, you can do stash runs, you can go loot rooms, you can do hatchling runs, you can just wait for your bitcoin farm. Everything leads to rubles. And the ruble then unlocks the whole game. Everything the game has to offer gets unlocked just by having money. Imagine another MMO, you just go to the starting area and slaughter level 1 cows. And you do that for an hour, then you go to your merchant and the merchant is like, Oh wow, you killed 100 cows, that's really cool and good, what legendary gear would you like to have now? No dungeon, nothing challenging, just the same thing without risk over and over again, for example scap runs or hatchling runs, and you get the legendary stuff. No other game has this, and for good reasons. We also see this with traders. Trader level 1 sells the M4, yeah, but it's not modded at all. But at Traders level 2 we already have our first pretty good modded M4. And we already have level 4 armor. Then at Trader level 3 we already at really really good guns and really strong armor. Level 5 armor and even level 6 with the hex grid trade. And with traded level 4 the problem isn't that there are new amazing weapons or armor, but the ammunition. It's still a mystery to me why you can buy M855A1, one of the best bullets in the game with brutal stats. Plus it's a round for the arguably best gun in the game. And you get that for 360 rubles. 360 rubles, that's less than a BT round for an AK. So you see that if you spend enough time, they basically throw the legendary and best stuff at you. So what do I think how we could fix all of that? And this is just my suggestion, okay? And it's just an overall concept idea, so don't get lost in details. It's not about, oh, I would put that item in there, that makes more sense. No, it's about the basic idea. So really just the basic concept and not the details, okay? So what I would do is change the flea market. You can no longer buy meta stuff on the flea market. No vector, no M4, no MP7 and so on. Also, no slick armor, no hex grid armor. Maybe not even level 5 armor. That's a balancing point that you have to, well, argue. And for sure, no top tier ammo. It's not available on the flea market anymore. You want that stuff? Go in raid and get it. Go fight raiders, go search for bosses and so on. Earn the stuff. I would also massively adjust the traders. Trader level 1, incredibly basic, a paka vest and a few very basic weapons and PS rounds, or ammo similar with the stats. Then traders level 2, level 3 armor, simple full automatic weapons, PP like ammo. Traders level 3, there we get our first level 4 armor, but it's pretty bad. But we also have a first few better weapons in the game. And at trades level 4 we have for example a trooper vest, a very good level 4 armor and yes, level 5 armor would not be available at traders anymore and we would get access to rounds like dbt. Yeah, that means M855A1, not available on traders anymore. There may be something like a DTM in the air, it's not broken but it's still a good weapon and a TX-15 maybe, but with other mods otherwise you can put them on the M4. But you get the concept, so good stuff but not broken things like a vector. And if you then still want your HK, your M4, your vector, you have to find them in raid, like in any other MMO as well. Because those things would get the status legendary. And legendary things you don't just get handed them to you, you have to work for them, you have to find them. So what will you achieve with that? First of all, we restore the uniqueness of Tarkos, because no matter when you come back in the game, the majority of fights would be with those weapons that we all know and love and that make Tarkos so unique, a modded AK or shotguns, Mosins, VPOs, PP19s, whatever. The fights will also take longer, not just one tapping and one spray and whatever. We will also change the power dynamics by a bit. You might be asking yourself, yes, but with this one you just moved everything backwards, but not quite, because yeah, 
The beginner doesn't have access to those things, but there are scaps in the game, raiders and so on, so if he performs well, he finds those things that others already have access to via the traders in raid, or at least has a chance to find it. And this would also lead to, you know, people really caring about scaps again, because at the current state you don't even take the time to loot them anymore. And then the bigger question, yes, well, there will be still people who find really big things, sure. But the slick armor is something legendary. A meta M4 will be rare. The value, insane. And if you use one of those, it will feel special like nothing else. It's going to be super rare. Also, it doesn't make you invincible. In BT, for example, you survive an extra 8 bullets. That gives you a huge advantage, but it doesn't make you invincible. So you would be very smart about when to use those legendary items. Maybe you have a very difficult mission that you want to use those on. And no longer just, oh well, I did a scav run, I made half a million rubles, <laughs> might as well buy a slick. So that's my opinion how we could fix a lot of things in Tarkov that lead to a lot of people leaving the game. Because eventually the game is going to get released and maybe there are no wipes then anymore and with the trend we're seeing right now the game would die then and i think this would be a way to really work against that but that's my opinion let me know what you think in the comment section down below but keep it civil also thumbs up if you enjoyed the video especially with this video this is gonna have a lot of dislikes as always if you criticize tarkov it's just that i don't know there are a lot of fanboys out there that just can't take criticism so, thumbs up, let's have a civil discussion in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!